what I like about the live program is that it looks at everything you're doing. So with organics and biodynamics as well, your um, you know you exclude the synthetic chemical component, which is great. But with um, and then with biodynamics, you're kind of looking at the whole farm and trying to give back as opposed to just take. But then with live, what it does is it looks not only at what you're doing in the vineyard, but also what you're doing um, with everything not in the vineyard. So it looks at what we do in the winery. It looks at what we do on the fringes of our property. So you have to set aside parts of your property in live for just the other things to exist there. Sure. So you have to have a certain number of flowering plants so that you're attracting beneficial insects. And that helps protect us from disease. It helps protect us from all kinds of things that you would get in, um, say, Napa Valley, where a lot of people are farming sustainably, right. but they farm to the borders of their, and I don't want to, I don't want to bash Napa, right. but you farm to the borders of your property because you want to, you know, get the most bang for yeah. your buck, but then you've got another vineyard right up next to you. And if you do get an infestation of a pest or a disease, that can just run, right. run right through. Right. And in Oregon, what's nice is that we do have these buffer zones. We're required to have these buffer zones. We're also required to protect our waterways. And that's, I mean, that's becoming more and more mainstream, but it is part of the whole picture and having connectivity through property boundaries um, so that wildlife can travel. I mean, it's all part of making it a bigger picture and not just about farming because farming has to be part of the landscape in order for us to really be truly sustainable, I think. Sure. Can you, you talk about live and sort of live as an, as an Oregon institution mm -hmm. um, right now really providing some, uh, some, you know, some rules and regulation and some outline, I guess, to, you know, sustainability, which right. I mean, every winery, every winery we talk to, you say, do you farm sustainably? Oh, of course they do. You know, right. well, you know, so what does it mean what anymore? Mean? Well, live, live puts some context to that. Will you lay out a little bit mm -hmm. sort of how live works, I guess? Yeah. So it's low input viticulture and enology, and that's um, and that's unique because it does go into the winery as well. Mm -hmm. So our wineries are also certified. But basically, live is a third party certified. So it's got some. You're not, you know, you're not judging yourself. Somebody else. We've got these standards that have been developed in the industry, and somebody else comes out and looks at what you're doing and holds you accountable. Mm -hmm. And. Um, it's based on eliminating and reducing the use of outside inputs to your farm and to your winery. But beyond that, it's a positive point system. So it's not just to say, we exclude this, and if you, you know, there are certain things that you absolutely cannot do. But it is a little more flexible in that, for example, if in your own mind, it makes sense in your vineyard to use Roundup in your vine row to control weeds as opposed to using an in-row cultivator mm -hmm. several times a year and using more fuel and having more tractor passes and doing sure. more soil compaction. If you've made that trade-off, then you have to make up, you're gonna get negative points for that. Mm -hmm. And you make up for that by doing something else in your vineyard to um, come out with a certain score and that's whether you pass or fail. Right. So there are various ways that you can come at it. And I think that the most important thing is that it, it encourages and kind of requires that you know, you have this base level, but you're also constantly moving beyond that. And so not just, they count the species in your, um, in your vine row to make sure that you have a number of flowering plants, not just in your ecological compensation zone, but in the, in the aisleways right. as well. And that's, that's huge because there are, there are no sustainability programs that, um, that require that kind of right. commitments.